Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about masterpieces, MTG masterpiece, or the Calidas Inventions, and the Car Expeditions. It looks like from this moment on, we will continue to get uh, these foil hypermythics. Um, what is my opinion about it? Do I think it's a good concept, a bad concept, and an okay one? I'd love to see some of your comments below as well. My personal takeaway, it will make standard cheaper. Uh, it will make sets generally. So Caldash looks amazing, by the way. Chandra looks like a really powerful play blocker. And the vehicles are semi-good concept, in my opinion. They look pretty strong. But the one thing I would mention is Zendikar as a set outside the expeditions was utterly crappy. I mean, you look at, you know, Gideon, yes, Gideon was good. He's still incredibly powerful. But what else was there in Zendikar? I'll wait. So Zendikar as a set was extremely underpowered. Everyone expected the fetch lands. The fetch lands didn't come. They made it up with these expeditions, which you know, did have fetch lands in them, so it's kind of like a win-win. So I was like, oh, well, they expect the fetch lands, and we gave it to them. And the ratio of these hypermythics is concerning to me because what is it to say that back in the day before we had mythics, when people, when they came out with mythics, people were really upset, incredibly upset. And they had every right to be upset, mainly because now these extremely valuable high powered cards will be harder to come by. And at that time, there was a grave concern that that would destroy the game. Now it didn't destroy the game, the game went on to explode and the mythics were just a thing of the past. Now we have masterpieces. The good thing about masterpieces is not everyone needs them and not everyone needs a playset of them. So the Aether Vials, they are a little different from the other ones. Like Crucible, you probably just need one for ED8, so if you really do want to get one. But the Mythics, the Hyper Mythics right now, the Masterpiece Mythics, what concerns me is there will be something down the road, four years, five years from now, where it's not one a case, it's one every hundred cases or something like that. And it's going to be crazy. I think that trend of the ghost mythics, the hyper mythics, the super mythics, the masterpieces, that's not a good trend to go down because it just dilutes your game. It just makes it seem kind of a lottery ticket scenario where all the value is in getting that random card from that random booster case or that random 10 booster cases. And that really has a huge impact on what the median price of the card is. So if that card is worth a hundred dollars, the cards, the average card price in your pack is going to be worth significantly less than it would be if you didn't have that hyper masterpiece mythic. And that's just how it works. The box value will always retain. The box value cannot change. If it goes up too much, people will just open boxes because it's profitable, especially stores who can get them at $78, $80 a box easily. I can even get it at $80 a box and I'm not a store. So that is my main concern is you will have the, you will have something even worse than a masterpiece very soon. And then we'll all be talking about masterpieces. Like we talk about mythics now, it's just a part of the MTG life. I don't know if that's a good way to go. So please leave me a comment below. Are you gonna buy a masterpiece? Do you think it's a good concept? Is it gonna make standard cheaper? Is it gonna devalue the, uh, the uh, is it gonna create a lottery system where it gets people addicted to opening these packs because it's like opening a $200 bill or a $100 bill? I don't know, leave me a comment below. Bye guys.